Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave and I got something pretty cool today. Just came in the mail and I've uh, been waiting a while for this. Um, and so we're going to do an open the box. In fact, a couple of them here and a bag um, for Zero Liter. World War II Pacific Theater Solitaire Game by Dan Verson Games. All right, you can see it's the big three inch box. So there's lots of stuff in this. We're gonna get a chance to take a look at it. The fiercest serpent may be overcome by a swarm of ants. Isoroku Yamamoto. Um, zero liter places you in command of an IJN or IJAF squadron in the Pacific Theater during World War II. Okay, we've included the special Japanese attack units, Kamikaze, to offer you the same decisions the Japanese had to make. Zero Leader includes campaigns stretching from Pearl Harbor to the home island defense. In Zero Leader, you're able to take part in the invasion of the Philippines, the attack on Midway, and the defense of Okinawa. There's a huge selection of aircraft to fly, including the KI-43, Oscar, A6M20, A6M5 Zeke, KI-44 Tojo, J2M Jack, KI-61 Tony, KI-84 Frank, and the N1KJ George. Whew, that was a mouthful. You can also, you also can fly such well-known bombers as the G4M Betty, G3M Nell, D3A Val, B5N Kate, B6N Jill, and KI-51 Sonia. Finally, you can command the awe-inspiring H8K Emily. Zero Leader allows you to fight iconic allied bandits such as the P-40 Warhawk, F-4F Wildcat, F-4U Corsair, and P-51 Mustang, among many others. As the commander of your squadron, you will also face famous bombers such as the SBD Dauntless, Dive Bombers, TBF Avenger, Torpedo Bombers, B-25 Mitchell, and B-17 Flying Fortress, not to mention the B-29 Super Fortress. Zero Leader is a solitaire game, which you can also play cooperatively. New to the Air Leader series is the exclusive Zero Leader versus Corsair Leader crossover rules that allow you to play face-to-face -face with your opponent playing the Allies. Good luck, Commander. All right, so as you can see great artwork here on the box as usual. And then let's get it open and let's see. So I'll get this uh, shrink wrap off of here. Okay, got the shrink wrap off. So let's get a look, let's see what we've got here. Okay, first thing in the box, of course, is the rules. And typical of Dan Burson Games, nice quality paper, color pictures, uh, the total thing uh, is 49 pages. So that's the acknowledgement page. Game components. So it looks like we're gonna get one of the special die that they've created, I hope, it has got the zero on it. So I have a couple of the other ones, one for the B-17 and one for the Phantom. Those are kind of cool too. Uh, components, campaign sheets, pilot cards, and there are gonna be some differences in this game from Corsair Leader. They've added the um, pilot experience level, robustness, and maneuverability. So there's gonna be a lot more to the dogfighting on this one. So that's gonna make it uh, pretty interesting. Of course, the uh, target cards and the weapons counters, sight counters, bandit counters, event cards, all these are standard um, items for us. Uh, picture of the of Midway, Eastern I Island, uh, very cool. Uh, really looking forward to this. Oh, here's one of the things, they did an expansion for Corsair Leader now it's in this game and that's the maintenance crews so we're going to find out um, how the maintenance crews work and how you maintain your aircraft after these uh, fights 
and then uh, so again very very cool right really looking forward to this the sequence of play player log sequence of play uh, pre-flight so this is all standard to the to the uh, game in this game they have samurai spirit which is kind of like the gung-ho that was in uh, Corsair leader so you know we'll, we'll uh, get a look at that over target dog fighting so you know again a lot of a lot of information on the dog fighting air to ground attack sight and bandits attack okay so as you can see homebound flight debriefings expansion aces expansion rules trainee rookie expansion rules optional rules so and then an appendix this is really neat because they're giving a nice description of all the aircraft i really like that um you know i like to know about the planes that i'm flying a lot of times and you know i'm pretty familiar with the uh, americans because you know that's what most games are around but now i'm going to get a chance to check out a lot of these japanese planes and then uh the crossover rules uh target destruction effect charts so this is uh corsair leader enemy target destruction effect charts all right zero leader acknowledgements and this game design is by chuck siegert and um, I've, I've watched him play a little bit on his uh, YouTube channel. And so, you know, trying to get a leg up on what we're going to be doing here. But this is awesome. Here's the next thing out is the mounted uh, dogfight board. I'll pull this over. We have the mounted dogfight board. So this is where we'll do our, our maneuvers and, and those things. So it's all printed. It's very nice and we have our uh, mounted game board so very much like um, the other leader series as you can see tactical display the target deck event deck uh, what i really like is having all the um, steps that you go through for the gameplay and nice little island there in the middle so very cool very cool then we have Here we have our uh, mission cards. So Coral Sea, 1942, it's an introductory. Midway, 1942, it's also an introductory. Guadalcanal, 42, it's a standard. Battle of Santa Cruz, 1942, introductory. Port Moresby Lay, 1942 standard. Pearl Harbor, 1941 introductory. The Philippines, 1941 introductory. So they're giving us lots of, of, of introductory scenarios. Wake Island, 1941 introductory. Lady Gulf, 1944 skilled. Here we go. Uh, Luzon, 1945 expert. Now we're starting to get into the. <laughs> here we. Okinawa, 1945 expert. I noticed that the later years are when we're experts, so this is when it got tough against the Japanese. Home Island Defense, 1945 expert. New Georgia, 1943 standard. New Britain, 1943 standard. And Rabal. 1944 skilled that's quite a few uh mission cards that we're going to have uh to be able to play on so <laughs> lots of play time uh the usual player log it's a one piece two-sided so we can um print these off and do our recording and I'll have to see if I want to make one or if maybe somebody's, I don't know if anybody's put anything out on Board Game Geek yet. Uh, a lot of times somebody will put stuff out to record your 
pilots, but this gives you up to 27 pilots. So you can see there's a lot of, lot of opportunity there. Then we have our player help sheets. It's a nice card stock, um, starting aircraft for your campaigns. A lot of detail there. Player help sheet, maintenance crews. So there's our how it's going to help us with the maintenance. The crossover rules. So if you do um, play with somebody else and you do the crossover to have both zero and Corsair, uh, two sides on that one. The uh, next one is pilot skills. So here it shows if you have a minus three stress or plus one cool, samurai spirit, uh, bombardier, bomb, bomber killer, bushido, careful handling. There's just there's a, a ton here that's going to add to the gameplay. Blank on that side. And then key terms. So when we're playing the game, a lot of times you come up on something on a card. You need to look at it and say, hey, what does what does that mean? You can come to this card. It's blank on the other side. So I like that. I like having the player aids because it really helps um, when we're when I'm looking for something. Okay, sheet one of 11. So we have 11 counter sheets. These are your ordnance, uh, bombs, torpedoes, drop tanks, uh, the Oka, which is like a flying bomb, damage counters, maintenance needed, maintenance crews. The other side, uh, more ordnance, and then uh, Samurai Spirit used, maintenance st still needed, and then fatigued on your maintenance crew. So if you try to do too much, you can make them fatigued. Which, if it's the last turn, we don't care if they get fatigued. But during the battle, we probably don't want that to happen. Sheet 2, 1941. So here's 1941. The red are the allied. So there's your F4Fs, P39s, P40s. Of course, the no bandit counters, more maintenance needed. And then the back side, you have riflemen. These are your ground, um, any air, uh, light machine guns, uh, heavy machine guns, 90 millimeter, 40 millimeter, uh, no sights, special sight indicators, maintenance needed. Okay. Sheet three. There's your F2A Buffaloes, P38s, F4F Wildcats, P39s again, P40s. Uh, no Bandits again. So these are all for 1942 as opposed to 41. And then, of course, the same thing with your sights. So each one of these you keep separate and you have them for each year. Here we have 1943. So now we start to get to the... Corsairs, the F4U Corsairs still have the P38s. F4Fs are still around. Okay. And then uh, you still have the same um, group down there. Okay. Sheet 5 is 1944. Now we have Corsairs, F6F Hellcats, and then P51 starts showing up. And there's some P-47s. So we're going to see some different kinds of aircraft. This is awesome. And I got to tell you. And then here we are with our ground forces again. Any air. Okay. Sheet 6. Here's the 1945. So we have Corsairs. What? Hellcats, F-6Fs, P-51 Mustangs. Um... P-47s. Yep. Okay. And, of course, the same thing again. Sheet 7, the front. We have no bandits for 1945. Stress counters. Recon, intel, turn, target flight leaders, situational awareness. Uh, these are the special conditions that can come up. A target hit damage. Uh, and now we start to get things like Saki that helps your pilots. Maintenance needed. Double Saki. There we go. That's what I want. <laughs> All right. Sheet 8 of 11. 
So these I would assume may be some aces. They're L's, they have legendary on them. So these are your ace, some of your ace planes right here. So again, pretty awesome, as you can see. Man, this is a great artwork in the back side. So that's the high and the low. I said I pushed, I pointed at L and went legendary, and that's not the case. L is low altitude versus high altitude. My, how quickly we forget sometimes. Okay, sheet nine, the damage, minor damage, stress for the uh, pilots here. And now we start to get into um, different kinds of planes. We get some of our bombers. All right. Really great looking counters. Oh, sheet 10 of 11. So here they have TBD on these counters. So they may be for a future um, expansion. We have the SB2Cs out here, TBF. So these are the American bombers here. B-25s. Cool. B-25s, B-29s, and B-17s. All right. And we have sheet number 11. These are your naval guns, 40 millimeters, when we're going after ships. Three inches. Heavy machine gun, 20 millimeters. Five inch guns. Those guys are bad news. Okay. And then these are our skill. For an ace, lots of lots of counters and markers to help us. All right. Okay. We did get uh, two red dice, and sure enough, the ten is the little zero plane. All right, that's great. Both of them. So I got two of them. Perfect. Then there he is target cards and event cards. And here's a G3M Nell here. This is a newbie. He has a maneuver rating now, minus two. And that's robustness, I do believe. So how much damage he can take is a minus one. Um, they have their uh, situational awareness and that's the uh, samurai spirit and aggressiveness, I forget what the W is, and then the C is cool factor, and then of course we have all the normal, what the plane can carry, what his hits for his guns are. Okay, here's another G3M Nell on this one also. Here's the KI-51 Sonya. Okay. So again, very cool. Uh, he was available from 39 to 45. So that was an older plane that they kept around. Here's a legendary KI-44 Tojo. He's good from 40, 41 to 45. He can carry a 250 pound bomb or a drop tank. His guns are an eight. Here's the B5N2 Kate. So this was their torpedo bomber or bombs. He's a level, um, so not a dive bomber. Okay. And we have the KI84 Frank from 44 to 45. His maneuver rating is a one, his robustness is a zero. Um, and then we also have, here's the Kate again. Okay. So all of these will get separated and sleeved um, and, you know, get ready to play the game. So that's what came with the game.
but I did a Kickstarter on this, so I got the extras also. So let's see what comes, what also comes that will be offered in the future as expansions for the game. Uh, this first one is just, it's a game box sleeve. So it's, it's got the same terminology on the back, but it, you can uh, put your game in it and it will uh, protect your, your uh, game a little better when it's sitting around. So very cool, I think, that I have that uh, and be able to use that. So I have that. And then we got um, the Zero Liter Aces Expansion Pack. So in here are the Aces. Oh good, they're not shrink wrapped, so we can take a look at them. So here is, uh, here's Sakai. And excuse me if I don't pronounce the German names right. <laughs> Um, but he, you can see, uh, these are what it costs you in points to take him, depending on whether you're doing a short, medium, or long campaign. And then what his skills are. So plus one cool, he's diligent, he's focused. Okay. There's, I, you know, in America we would say A, but I think it's Abe, but I'm not sure. Um, again, uh, Akamatsu. In the J2M Jack, here's another Zero Pilot, uh, Fuku, Fukuai. Uh, <laughs> pre sorry for anybody that I offend with the mispronunciation of the names. Uh, Honda, or Handa, uh, Hadaka, in the uh, A5M Claude, Isozaki, Awamoto, He's in an A6M5 Zeke. So, I mean, you know, this is really cool with all these guys. Okumura in an A6M20, which is 40 to 45. He can be used. And you notice on it, plus one maneuverability, minus one robustness, because... The Japanese Zero was very maneuverable, but he had no armor plating behind the seat or around the fuel tanks, so they were susceptible to getting shot down. So you need that maneuverability to stay out of those situations that can get you shot up. The H8K Emily, it's a four engine bomber. So all very cool. Okay, I also got Zero liter trainees expansion pack. Now these guys are your trainees. So he's got trainee two and then rookie two. So we'll have to take a look and see if they match up with any other cards, I don't know yet if they do or not. Just kind of looking through here to see if I see anybody that I noticed, but there's Hidaka. So if that's the case, you might have him where he can start off as a trainee, rookie, and then from there maybe he goes into his other cards, Sato, same thing, and they're in a different plane. Trainee, rookie, okay. So yeah, so this may be a case where we can use them and you know you start them at that level and then you move them up. So I gotta kinda read about the, the uh, zero liter trainee expansion pack. But you can see there's several there, so lots and lots of options with this. Okay, and then the last thing I got, I know, it's like, man, how much stuff did you get? <laughs> this is the Zero Liter China Expansion. We're going to pop this baby open. Let's see what comes in this bag. This is my open the bag. 
usually I don't usually this is separate let's see we got enemy aircraft get it right here so SB SB twos those are twin engines okay and then we're gonna have the Kates or the Nate sorry the KI-27 Nates so we got some more pilots here target cards specific to China we have our mission cards so we have Burma 1942 this is a standard the Indian Ocean Raid 1942 standard that's over by India China 1941 introductory Indian Ocean Raid 1942 standard in Singapore 1942 standard so you can see the China pack gives you 1941-1942 and then we have aircraft so we have more uh, Japanese and then now we have P-40s and we have the British Hurricanes the Russian I-16s and the Russian I-15s oh very cool so we're getting some new planes to battle against and here is the P-40 and these are the Tigers so these are the flying Tigers so we have a chance to fly against those well this is awesome um, really cool and then of course your ground weapons um, so it's a standalone so really really cool for China okay so a lot of stuff to go into a lot of um, good looking game nice counters I'm really excited to get started on this and plan on um, starting looking through the rules getting myself familiar with them and then seeing what we can do to get the first campaign started so uh, hope you enjoyed this I did uh, it's a lot of fun I've been looking forward to this so this was an open the box of zero leader the World War II Pacific Theater solitaire game published by Dan Verson games really awesome oh, I, I guess I didn't even notice on my on my box top um, all of that's written in Japanese <laughs> so that's really cool too so um, and I also had the expansions of the aces pack the aces expansion pack along with the trainee expansion pack and also the zero liter china expansion so hope you hope you liked it if you're new to the channel please subscribe i really appreciate it and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and appreciate that too and then i look forward to getting this one on the table and getting it started and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and i'll catch you guys later thanks